something that I have learned. Oh, good morning. It's early. Something I have learned on the cruise ships that we've been on is that if you want something like, for instance, eggs in the morning, you want them cooked in butter or you want them made to order, excuse <clears throat> me, you can just ask and they cook it right there for you. And uh, so. Even at the buffet. Mm hmm. So good morning from Ketchikan, Alaska. We were pulling into port about 5 to 5.30 this morning. Uh, not sure if we're fully docked yet, but I think the gangway goes down at 6.30. It's now 6.11. We, we had lost an hour or gained an hour last night or whatever, however you want to look at it. We're on Alaska time now and we are here till 2.30 today, I believe. We're going to get out, explore Catch a Can, got to see Creek Street, got to try to find the, uh, the Totem Pole Park, and then we've got the Lumberjack Show too, so all that's coming up. It is a chilly and a rainy day here in Ketchikan, but I think that's pretty much uh, par for course. That's what they say. So, um, this is where we have to We're going to go walk around, see what we can find, see what we can see of this city or I, town. I would like to add that this is a pretty cool port. You're like literally right off the yeah. boat for yeah. ship, sorry. and. Like, it's so easy to get off and on. Right, it, it's just right there. There's no fort security or anything. You just go on. Yeah. All right, here we go. We got about a block down the street and Laurie needed something hot to drink. So we stopped here at local grounds, a local coffee shop. She yeah. got a chai, I got a breva, which is basically a latte with half and half. And hopefully now we can move on and see something. I want a brew company too. Oh yeah, yeah. So we've got, what is this, Brevis? No, Baleen. Baleen Brewing Company. Uh, looks like a Maybe fairly new operation? I don't know. I see they've got one uni tank back there. It looks like a seven barrel. And four taps and a little kegerator. So. Maybe they'll be open after, uh, after we get done with our lumberjack show and we can stop by and have, they got a 1959 Czech Pills, so. And we were told to stop at what the what was that place from Scott? Uh, yeah, one of our friends, from, uh, Scott from Controversial Cruising, recommended we stop by someplace and have a pinky. We'll yeah, we'll have to look that back up and see if we can get over there and do that. We made it to Creek Street, trying to stay dry and keep the equipment dry. But uh, this is a former red light district in Ketchikan. 
where both men and salmon come up river to spawn. <laughs> you went there. <laughs> Fifty degrees. Oh, so here on Creek Street, it's still only eight AM. It feels so, so much later. <laughs> yeah, well, at home it's noon, but so it goes. Uh, yeah, most of the shops seem to be open. Some of the places don't look like they've quite opened for business yet today. Uh, still trying to stay dry and see what we can see. You know, stay dry. I think that's a conundrum because <laughs> we're standing outside in the rain and walking in the rain, so I don't know yeah. how we're going to stay dry. Eh, we're but. doing the best we can. <laughs> that's okay. We're just more important that the camera stays dry. Yeah, that's true. Back in the day, he danced with the girls before more money, he went upstairs. And it didn't take Dolly much time to rent number 11, little greenhouse by the A-frame. She had four or five girls there working. Paid it off within two weeks, worked this house all by herself, and decorated exactly like this. 15 years old right there. And that's him in 1940. Dolly was 55 years old. You can see pictures of him across from her bedroom and in her bedroom. She was his sugar mama. For the great American lumberjack show, right? Yes. <laughs> All right, we're in line. Be in in a minute. Can you find me in the sea of orange? <laughs> <laughs> so we finally made it to the lumberjack show. Getting ready to get started here in about 30 minutes. Can't wait. It looks like this is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. We got good neighbors behind us too from Princess. Yeah. yeah. Lots of cruisers in town. We did make it a short pit stop back in the boat or in the ship and picked up fresh batteries and uh, dropped off some souvenirs that we bought. We've been to two museums today. We were at Dolly's house, which was interesting. Yeah, yeah that was fun. Um, 
Yeah. I don't know much about the history of that kind of stuff, but it was pretty cool to see uh, uh, ladies of the night and the... Uh, I like the history behind it. It was all women entrepreneurs that owned all the buildings. Then we went to the uh, the Tongas Museum, or the, the Tongas, or... Yeah, I'm going to show you on the video, but a lot of the history of the area and the different industries that are uh, represented here and a lot of the old tools and things like that that they use. That was really neat. Yeah. I enjoyed it. All right. The show's about to start here in a few, so we'll get back at it. It's going to be a good show. You're already pitting both sides against each other. You know, we've got the, the Canadians or the, the British. Jack it off. Get my Whoever it is against the Americans or something like that. So that okay? um, we are not on the American side. So we'll see who wins. Stay tuned. Now shake hands, touch axis, and let's get this thing started. <laughs> Arctic Bar, recommendation of our friend Scott at Controversial Cruising, and 
he said to ask for Paula. Well, Paula has today off. Yeah. So, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So, he also said to get a pinky. So, yeah. we've got our pinkies. So let's see what these are all about. I have no idea what it is. Cheers, Scott. Cheers. Interesting. It's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. Pink hey, cotton crazy. candy. <laughs> <laughs> We made it back to the room. <laughs> we did. In one piece, cold, so, wet, but made it. Yeah, about six hours in port, uh, and we were done. Decided to get back on the boat. <laughs> well, what happened was we walked further away, and it got really windy, and we got really wet. Yeah. And we started getting cold. We so, said, you know what? Let's go back, get warm, get dry, and get some lunch. Yeah. It was cold. It was in the mid fifties. Uh, very windy and rainy all morning luckily our the rain gear that we bought for this trip has served us well so dolly's place was pretty cool i liked um, all the the history that a lot that of history kind of came with yeah that, it, it was interesting that uh you know they didn't finally outlaw prostitution and and catch a can or maybe alaska until like 1952 53 i think something and then, like that yeah, and then yeah. she they were closed down in 54. yeah a lot of the uh, history of the industry and such that we saw at the museum mm -hmm. uh, with the fishing and lumber and, uh, and mining and everything else that went on in this region. And that cost six dollars per, per adult, so six dollars a piece. Yeah. And there was so much information and we were there, there a long time. I started getting a little like uh, essentially overloader. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I'm, and my feet were bothering me too, my shoes. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff to yeah. see for sure. Definitely worth it if you want to kind of walk around and, and learn about the town and, and stuff. Yeah, and then the Lumberjack Show. <laughs> the <laughs> that Lumberjack was, Show. Um, you know, if you've ever seen the, the, the lumber sports or whatever on ESPN, um, it's pretty much the same thing, but it's live and right in front of you. The USA won. I think it was kind of rigged though. I think I had to do that. Yeah, it was almost like if somebody was ahead and I was watching for that and I was trying to figure out if that's what they was doing. Yeah, because it was but, it was like neck and neck, neck yeah. tied the whole way. And then the last one they did some some little goofy stuff and And there was some, you know, humor and stuff and that was fun. And they yeah. they're really good at keeping the crowd engaged yeah well. they are it's a really good show it's a fun show it's you know it's tongue-in-cheek lumberjack ha -ha yeah right kind of thing right but, if uh, you want something serious and you know and whatnot then that might not yeah. be for you but if you want to kind of just see something fun and have a good time for an hour or so yeah. but they're chopping real logs and yeah you know so it is pretty neat. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too I think it was it was worth it if you haven't seen it before definitely probably yeah. wouldn't pay to go see it again. I go do something else. Yeah. First time in Catch a Can, uh, it was worth it. Yeah. So Catch a Can as a whole, I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, it was a cute little town and... Weather could be better, but that's Catch a Can, so... Yeah. Expect rain. <laughs> Expect rain, yeah. And dress appropriately. Dress in layers, with your top layer being waterproof. Yes. Yeah. Yes. For sure. Stay warm. Stay warm. We're in June, and so it's still it's still yeah, pretty cold. It's still cold. It was it didn't get up above 52 no. today, oh. and it was windy. You know, if it weren't for the what, wind, right? And sitting still for an hour outdoors, that didn't help either. But they do have heat at the the lumberjack thing. So yeah, just if you do. sat up higher, you were under the heat and you were drier. We kind of yeah. sat down down bottom, and um, not that we were wet wet, but you no. know we were a little damp. So. A little bit, a little bit of a. Uh, blowing rain on us but yeah. not too much yeah ah so here we are back on the ship at 12 one something one, one, one o'clock one o'clock we're still so. an hour and a half in port but we're gonna go i think grab some lunch yeah we're gonna go grab some lunch and see what else is going on for the day i know that they probably have some uh some of the educational seminars and such on the upcoming ports all right we'll be back 
Good evening. Good evening. We are all dressed and ready for dinner. Yeah, and where are we? We're at Pinnacle Grill. All right. It's a steakhouse. You know we're excited about that. Love our steak. Why is that? What did you order? Ribeye with no sauce, just butter, salt, pepper. And the lobster bisque. I love lobster bisque. There were so many good appetizers to choose from. I was looking at the mushrooms, and I was looking at the bisque and the shrimp cocktail. I'm glad you ordered the shrimp cocktail. Yeah, I figured we'd share it. Yeah, I was going to say, hopefully they'll share it with me. I got a nice ribeye, and I got a souffle, which I can't say that I've ever actually had a souffle. I'd ask Corey, what's a souffle? And he said egg whites and something else. And I was like, okay, I'll probably like it that it's chocolate. Who yeah. doesn't like chocolate? Something like that. Yeah. I don't really know. Yeah. I can't wait to see what this all looks like. All right. I ordered the shrimp cocktail with a uh, sherry and horseradish cocktail sauce. I uh, also got the uh, clothesline candied bacon, which I have seen before. And it looks really interesting. People said it was really good. Said you had to come here just to have that. Uh, also got a ribeye medium rare with uh, the shallots and red the wine. Red wine uh, sauce plus uh, sauteed mushrooms and the not so classic baked Alaska. So we'll see what that's all about. I usually use the small spoons for everything. Okay, ready? Interesting presentation of three little shrimp. I guess it was okay, huh? Oh my God, it was terrible. <laughs> no, not at all. It was delicious. Everything was so, so good. I'm like, okay, I'm good now. I don't need to eat anymore. The soup, I was really good. Yes, I wish there was more lobster in it. You know, it, it is what it is. They had the lobster taste in the soup, even without the lobster chunks. And uh, the bacon, you know, maple bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? And shrimp. I mean, it's shrimp with a cocktail. <laughs> so good. Everything was so good. And I would say that the, uh, the standout for me was actually the cocktail sauce for the shrimp. The shrimp was very good, fresh, uh, tender. Uh, the cocktail sauce was a bit different. Um, it had some type of, what was it? Sherry, uh, I think it was, like, yeah, it was like a sherry. Or some sort of uh, yeah, it may have been cognac, um, along with rush radish, so it, it had a different taste. Very unique. Good, good stuff. So they came with a little plate of, well, so it was dark or chocolate, white chocolate, and some jello kind of things. Um, but uh, we ate those. <laughs> and they were good. And I had my souffle. And oh my god, I like a souffle. That was very good. It was light and fluffy, kind of like a, a mousse, but not. Because the mousse is kind of creamy. This was kind of like. Um, well, it was baked. Plate. So. Yeah, yeah. It was, I enjoyed that a lot. It was really good. And I had the uh, not so baked, yet. not so common baked Alaska or something like that. And well, it's the first time I've had baked Alaska. So, uh, no, we had it on um, Odyssey. Did we? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you yeah. may not have ordered it that night, but most yeah. of us did. I didn't order it that night. Um, but it was good. I mean, it was different. It was different. Uh, I figured you're in Alaska, why not? So, yeah. I'll show you what it looked like uh, disassembled. So I had to tear it apart and see what was in there. After I ate some of it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rolling Stone Lounge. Get ready to hear your favorite rock, pop, and classic R&B hits. Tonight, the party never stops at the Rolling Stone Lounge. <laughs> Yeah. I think that's a rock. Black. 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 Black.